all this time trying to be your dad. And now you're wondering what it means to be you. In the film Star Trek Beyond, it's three years into the difficult five-year space exploring mission of the Enterprise, and Captain James T. Kirk is beginning to wonder what all the deep space wandering is really accomplishing. In fact, he's sort of thinking that maybe it's time to hang up his yellow uniform shirt and take a more settled position at a sleek star base called Yorktown. But that's when a female alien shows up at the base, begging for some help for her shipmates who are stranded in a distant nebula. The rescue is a job that only the intrepid Kirk and his crew are equipped to handle. So they shake off their collective malaise and they set off to help, but soon find out that they've been lured into a trap. A menacing warlord named Kral has been watching the Federation's movement from a distance, and he knows how they work, he knows their weaknesses, and he knows that destroying this captain is the key to all his malevolent plans. Our captain will come for us. Mercy will be the last thing on his mind. I am counting on it. This third film in the rebooted Star Trek franchise is a snappy, high-octane adventure. Hold on to something! It warps back to the series' roots, slowing down long enough to talk about familiar Trekkie themes of friendship, unity, and the willingness of the one to sacrifice everything for the many. Now, there are a few plot holes here and there's quite a bit of blasting violence, and there's a bit of foul language in the sci-fi mix. But for teens on up, I'm giving Star Trek Beyond three and a half beam me ups out of five for family friendliness. For a full review, be sure to visit us at PluggedIn.com. Plugging you into the movies, I'm Bob Olszewski for Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review.